So it has come to my attention that Grinder Golem is currently a $17 card. Personally, I think that Grinder Golem is actually broken in the OCG. I mean, like, seriously, double firewall off of one card? Or Scaldi draw four? Or just, like, some FTK or something, I don't know. Grinder Golem is actually broken in the OCG. In the TCG, however, at least for a little while, the card isn't actually that scary. You might be asking yourself, Blade, you're literally the epitome of stupid right now. However, I have a counter-argument to that statement, and that would be that we don't have Security Dragon in the TCG yet, nor do we know when it will come out in the TCG. The main combo to summon Skuldia is to special summon Grinder Golem in a zone next to one of the extra monster zones. Use the tokens that you get for two Link Karibos. One Link Spider and one Car Link Karibo works too. Use those two Link Karibos for Akashic Magician. Akashic Magician bounces Grinder Golem's hand. Summon Grinder Golem again. Use tokens for Security Dragon. Security Dragon effect will bounce uh, the Grinder Golem back to hand. Special Summon Grinder Golem again. Tribute one of the tokens to summon Link Karibo from the graveyard. Then use all four monsters to summon Skuldia. Oh, sheesh, that was a mouthful. The problem with this combo in the TCG, however, is the fact that if we don't summon security, we're just left with the Link 4 with, like, Boroload or something. Boroload is definitely a good card, though, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same as the shenanigans in the OCG. In the OCG, you usually make two Firewall Dragons, then summon Quick Fix or something, and you go off. So for a final conclusion, what is scary about Grinder Golem in specific is looping with Link monsters. But if you don't have the necessary Link monsters, you can't loop it. And until next time, thanks for watching. I, I, I feel like that was some sort of Vsauce ending, but you know, that felt pretty sick.